Okay, hey everybody, we're going to look at the Groove Track today. This is a really awesome little feature in Logic. It started in GarageBand and eventually got moved over. It seems like something that you might not use because it's really simple. However, I find myself using it all of the time because it just makes a few things super easy. So here's the principle. You choose one of your tracks as a master and then the other ones get quantized to the groove and that track. Super easy. There's other ways to do this. We can actually come through if we wanted to and use quantization. And we could do groove template here. We can make it and then once we made a groove template, we could put that on the other tracks. Uh, one downside is that the drummer track here we don't get to do that with so if we want to do this with the drummer track which is how i typically use this most office often then i actually make this the the groove master uh, using this groove feature so if you don't see these little stars and checks that's okay first thing you need to do is go in here to the track header components and down below let's do this a little higher here so you can see it you'll see groove track and at first it still doesn't show up until you hover over it and then you click the very first one so let me show you you hover click the first one then the check boxes show up to make the other ones line up with this so for instance let's just do a range right here and let's zoom in a little bit on this This is where we're going to do this here. And let's pull some stuff out of the way. So we can see this little section. So Groove Master, this one is not yet selected. This is a bass part. So, a couple options we have. One, we could replay the bass part with this groove happening. And that may give you better results. You can hear there's some definite timing things which put these two pieces at odds with each other. So that's one. Second, we could edit the MIDI data here and get it just right. Now, if we change the drums at any point, we either have to re-perform it or re-edit it. So, we're talking about lots of time here. Maybe time that's worthwhile, but definitely time either way. Let's turn on the bass here as a slave to that Groove Master. Let's take a listen now with it on. Let's listen again with it off. So it's very subtle, but there is a difference. Another way to tell a difference is to switch the master over to the bass. And let's listen to the drums changed a little bit. And you can usually tell it when there's a beat, for instance, in the bass, there's a couple that are just slightly off time and the way that the drums match up to them pretty closely is the key to really hearing that work. Like that one always felt just a little bit early. Now 
now they're matched up pretty well. So again, really easy to use. It works with all of our tracks. So even though MIDI and the drummer are all MIDI based, we have audio tracks in here as well, and they're actually going to match up with them. So for instance, let's uh, get the whole song here playing for a second. That you never call my name Soon I will forget it as well Guess the most sweet words in the world Would be you calling my name But we don't need words Just to hug now, with this specific example, one other thing we could do with the drummer is have the kick and snare follow the bass. We're going to look at that in a separate video, but it's just a really easy way here uh, to get those to be even tighter. So we're going to have it follow instrument three. So with that change, the pattern actually changes to account for what the bass is doing here. It's a really cool way to bring them even tighter together in terms of their integration for the whole song. Okay, so really just to look at this groove track, it's pretty awesome. There's other ways to quantize. We're not going to look at those right now. We just wanted to really focus on the groove track. That's it. See you tomorrow.